Do you think plants can be grown with just fog? This is one of the questions people ask. Well, in general speaking, you can grow all plants with fog. Let me show you, so don't click away. Be right back. Hello, happy tubers! This is Marcelina. In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow and propagate plants with ultrasonic fogging system and help you set up a mini fog panics. Before we begin, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe guys. Also, always remember to hit that notification bell so you get notified right away every time I release new video. Also, if you want to learn hydroponics, aquaponics, aeroponics, wiki grow, and fogponics, join me today and subscribe to this channel. Alright, without further ado, let's get it! If you are familiar with aeroponics where plants are hung freely and water is sprayed with the misting nozzle, a new improved aeroponics acts the same way but instead of using nasal spray fog is used this system is called fogponics now to set up a mini fogponics you will need an air pump you also need a fogger now since this is a smaller system you only need one fogger but if you have a bigger system you may need three or four depending on the size of the reservoir you also need a 3 inch CG knit cup and an insert. If you want this product, guys, I will link below this video. Just check the link description. Also, if you need this uh, mini fog panics, check cashewgreens.com because this system will be in that side. Alright, let's fire this up. Alright, so I use my old uh, pump and also my old fogger. You definitely need a floating device to place your desk. If you want to know all of this uh, setup, guys, I have a lot of videos on fog panics. Watch my other video how to set up a fog panics machine. And what you need to do here, you have the connector. You're going to connect this. This is uh, disconnect and then connect it and un and plug to the outlet. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug this in and see how it works. All right, so the fogging is starting. So you can see when you fill the water, don't fill uh, all the way to the top because if it is too much water, you don't want to suffocate your uh, cuttings and also it rots your cuttings so fill in like above the midline like what you see here and if it is too low of water it might be hard for the fogger to reach to the top so you have to make sure the water is perfect and uh, you can add clonics like what I did in my uh, previous video where I set up the fog panic system you can add clonics to the water to speed up your uh, propagation and also you check the pits but you can uh, skip all of that if you don't want to go uh, to go through with that chemical you know chemical addition to the water so that's it then after that you need a uh, air stone like I had here so I disconnect the other earthstone because it was not working and I replace a new one so what do you need you just put the tube in this outlet here and this is the air pump air, no, I mean <laughs> air pump now I have a question from my viewers about the air pump uh, one uh, person asking me like uh, can you put the air pump air pump inside the uh, reservoir you don't put this air pump inside you have to put it next to that because you don't want to uh, damage your air pump and also keep away from sunlight so what i would do i just put it next to my system like what you see here you just put like that and that's it so the uh, air pump the uh, air stone is going to circulate the water inside and keeping the water fresh and also 
allows the movement in the water. So I probably, hold on, I'm going to, when you set this up, you have to put it inside, but I put outside, so I'm going to disconnect this, and I will put here. And I put it back. Okay, now that is all set. So we have to put the lid back. This is the coolest system. So if you are going into uh, growing plants and sell your plants, this is the best way to speed up your propagation. So let's go ahead and I will show you how to grow plants in the uh, in Fagpanics. Now, what plants best fog panics? As I mentioned earlier in this video that you can grow all kinds of plants, but I would recommend to select or choose plants that are easy to grow and easy to root. And uh, in this case, you can uh, grow hydrangea or you can grow uh, geraniums, but I'm going to propagate this and I will show you the result. So stick with me, all right? So this is what I have done in my propagation. I use Clunix, as you can see here, because this is going to speed up my, my root development. And I will link all these products in this description below this video. Check the links. You also use mist. This is the product that you mist the plant before you take the cuttings. But in this case, I'm not using the Clunix spray. But I use the Clonix gel. So let's go ahead and start our propagation. You just need a small drop. And I'm going to propagate this geranium. And with your insert, you just place in the insert. You can put multiple cuttings in the insert but I was ju I'm just doing one cutting so just like that So I will set this one for a few seconds so chemicals will absorb in the cut. So these are apple blossoms. And I'm going to propagate this so I have been propagating up a blossom guys because <laughs> it's beautiful beautiful flower it's just like rose all right so we propagated our plants you can also germinate your seeds in a fog panics and grow your your uh, seeds in the system you can uh, grow salad greens like spinach or bok choy and keep it in the system but you just have to do a foliar spray that's how i do it i don't add chemicals or fertilizer inside the reservoir because it might clog the system so if you're growing if you're using fog panics to grow plants you definitely don't add fertilizer inside i would not recommend it and if you can do the fertilization you can either foliar spray or soak the plant outside, soak in the container, and then put it back in the system. So let's see what happened in 
two weeks and I will follow up you guys. All right, so now let's check our propagation. Now let me tell you this uh, straight. When you use the fog panic system, not all plants rooted the same time. So sometimes other plants will root maybe a little bit longer with the other cuttings. As you can see here, the, the first initial root development is one week or two. Now at this time, as you can see here, this is, I just keep it in here, this is more than two weeks, like almost two weeks and a half. And as you can see, you can tell the longer of the roots. Now, if you keep this in the system for a longer period of time, this root will be uh, uh, growing longer, and then you can see a little bit brown on the root system. So you need to transplant once the root is longer. And uh, if you don't have the time to transplant right away, then you might have to trim the root so it can uh, continue producing so this one here like this one here I just keep it in here and as you can see it's getting browning now so this is the time that you need to transplant so again propagation by uh, fog panics the rooting time or the root first initial development is one week and then after that it continues to grow this one here you can see that root. So this is ready for transplant. Okay, so this is our mini Fagpanics. If you want this system, guys, just again, just check kashurgreens.com because this system will be in that site. All right, this is for today, folks. But first, let's ask you this question. Why should you invest in Fagger and go Fag Panics? Write your comments below this video. I would love to hear. Thank you for watching, guys. This is Marcelina at CashierGreens.com. See you next time. Peace out.